everyone. Well, again, another vlog. I know, I'm doing these more often, it's amazing. But, uh, seriously, I would want to talk about a subject that I haven't touched on for too long. I believe the last time I actually touched on this subject or topic was back in December. And basically, the topic would be uh, love. I've seen my past two videos because I made a part one and a part two to cover this topic because of how it's really affected me throughout my whole entire life, just the way I grew up. And if you've actually seen the previous blogs, you know that. Um, I didn't really have the best of luck when it came to relationships. And potential relationships, we'll put it, because that's never really happened. Um, and from what I can tell is that most people go through this phase. Most people do. And you always wind up thinking that you're alone on this because no one feels exactly the same. You know, you hear all these stories and you're like, well, mine's is different. Mine was more painful. I was in depression for this much longer. All these other details that do make you unique from everyone else. And it's true that your experience does say this every potential relationship that you go through one that doesn't work out no one can really compare that to because they're all different they are people might say I know what you went through they, they might say a lot of different things to help you cope but yet it just it just um, I hate distractions See if I can. Sorry, that thing was really throwing me off. We go through a lot of things, a lot of relationships, and we always get hurt. Or in my case, potential, since it never really happens. And your friends are, are always there to comfort you, yet they don't exactly know what you go through. No one does. Every time you get hurt, it's always different. It's always worse than the last time. It always is. And all they can never say is, well, we'll be there for you. Which is true. And they do help. They do. And that's basically what my past videos have been about. Of how difficult love was. And, and just so many thoughts and ideas on, on why it doesn't work out. And, and not exactly whose fault it is, but potentially what exactly is the reason that these things don't work out. And people always say don't look for love, um, you'll find it, things like that. Which, for a while I didn't really believe it, and I technically um, still kind of don't, because, well, <laughs> um, you can't really see love, so love is invisible, so why would you really look for it? Which is one thing I guess that they're trying to say. You keep searching for love, you keep staring and wondering if every single person is that possibility. And then when it comes down to it, once you stop looking, once you actually become, when, when you are yourself, around your friends, around everyone, you wait, when you are yourself, you will attract certain people. And those are those people, the ones that they talk about. You know, you don't have to pretend to be someone, pretend to be confident, tough, or, or anything else that, that you see all the other guys who have someone are doing. You don't have to be them. All you have to do is be yourself. And for the most part, it works. And then comes the problem of, well, you have this person interested, and of course you don't want to lose them, because that would, well, put you back into depression or make you really sad. And, so you start to worry and you start to wonder, well, should I do this, should I do that, what should you do? And 
again, the, 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 I guess the only advice I can really give you is that you have to be yourself. That's the reason why they liked you in the first place. That's why they found you interested, because you were unique from everyone else. You were different, yet you were yourself. You weren't showing off, you weren't doing anything special, nothing. You were just yourself. And that's what did it. And so all you have to do is just continue to be yourself and and it might work out. And I do say might because even though you, you are interested in this person, sometimes it's just not enough. You know? Um, there are people who, who you've seen together for a long time and then for some unknown reason you see them split apart. You say, well, I thought they were meant for each other, you know? Everyone kept saying, oh, invite me to your wedding. Of course, you meant it joking, but just to say that, you knew that they were serious. But there's basically, we all have strengths and we all have our faults. And if you can live with that person's faults, because the strengths are no problem, you know, that's what attracts you. That's what makes you excited about this person, wanting to see this person every single day, hear from them, talk to them. But there are faults, and everyone has faults that you don't like. You know, you see in other people, they see it in you. But if you can get along with that person, they can get along with your faults as well as your strengths. That's what makes it work. That's what makes everything work. And again, um, you might find it funny because well, I, I'm not really, I've never really been in a relationship, so to speak. I, I never have. But just seeing how people interact, how, <laughs> I, I, it's really complicated to explain, but just basically going through a lot of, of bad potential relationships you get the idea. You, you see what not to do after a while. You see what the mistakes are. And, you know, I know you're probably thinking, you know, if, if you're someone who hasn't had a lot of girlfriends or, or maybe has none, and you think, well, all the guys are good looking. Look, oh, maybe I should join a sport or something that, that makes them seem like they're, like they have an ego. Something that makes them have super confidence. You think that those people are the only ones who, who can be in a relationship? I mean, think about it. How often do you see them with someone else? It's like every month, every three months, or every week. You see them dating someone else, going out with someone else. No, either they're like the best player in the world, or things aren't working out for them, so they go with someone else. See how they say, um, don't judge a book by its cover. And sadly, all I have are DVDs. Um, I have books, they're, they're somewhere else. But look, this is you. Yes, comic books, we'll, we'll just say, okay? Um, DC characters. This is how you walk around and this is what people see. Oh my God, look, he's geeky, he's dorky. And just by staring at this cover, they automatically turn you away. They see that you're nothing. You have nothing to offer. And yet, and yet when, see if I have another DVD, and yet when they see someone else who gives off a certain type of confidence, not too much based on their looks, but how they act. Yes, I know. Comments later, don't worry. You've seen, yeah, this guy. <laughs> and then they think that that person has confidence. He knows what he's doing just by staring at him. And of course, this person thinks that he can have anyone he wants. And that's how he acts. And of course, he doesn't care. Why would he? If he can have anyone he wants, and then someone flocks up to him. You know? He won't care if you end up... He doesn't care whether he ends up with someone or not. Because there's always going to be someone else. And more or less, you always see them with someone else. But that's what I mean. They're acting themselves. And by doing that, 
emails will go to this person because of that. And then later on, they'll realize that this person's a jerk and then they'll leave. And then he'll go attract someone else because they think, oh, wow, look at this guy. Lots of confidence. He must know what he's doing. They go to that guy. Again, they find out and then they leave. He's a jerk. That's what the main thing that I, I guess you can say that I'm seeing. And for all those people who are really, really nice guys, this is a problem. Because when you see someone who you're interested in, you kind of can't act yourself. You can't. You're, you're, you're shy, you're embarrassed. You don't know what to say or how to approach these people. Why? Because you don't know how to be yourself in front of them. And to everyone else, it sounds silly. It sounds ridiculous. It does. But to us, it makes perfect sense now, doesn't it? And the thing that I really hate and I can't stand is that people are selling books based on these things. Pay $20 and look, entire guide on how to do these things, how to pick them up, go on dates, everything you need to know. Why would you? Why would you even buy one? Don't. They're just schemes. That's all they are. You know, sure, they're probably full of information, things you already know, but whether you can really act or reinforce that information out there is something entirely different. I've always heard the expression, nice guys finish last. Which, what I see, is pretty true. Because, well, it's happening to me, but... I'm not as hopeless as I used to be. See, in the past two videos, everything was uh, somewhat sad. Because, in some ways, I was frustrated, I was stuck in a big loop and I couldn't get out of it. Every single time there's something that would mess everything up. And we literally just tear whatever was building apart. And I was always the one who got hurt. And from what I can tell, yeah, people really took advantage of me because I was a nice person and they saw that. And they said, wow, he's such a nice person. I think I'll take advantage of that. And that's what they did. Do this for me, do that for me. And then when they're done having their fun, then they just break my heart, literally. It's not like I'm making it up or I'm making it like a one-sided thing. This is why I saw, this is what my friends saw as well, female and male, just in case you're thinking it was a male thing. But you can't give up hope, you can't. You just have to keep trying. And for the females out there, because I, I know a um, majority of this video is going to be dedicated to the guys. And it's not that easy for us, it isn't. Maybe you think it is because of how a lot of the guys act or, or how they see you, but it's not. Think about it this way. All the guys who are approaching you, all the ones who have the pickup lines, the ones who are standing around looking like they're God's gift to the world, ignore them. Think about it. There's at least, what, eight girls are going to walk up with him within the night. He's going to try the same stupid line over and over again. Why would you want someone like that? Sure, you see those guys in the corner. They look a little shy. And, and I know maybe you might not want to approach them because maybe sometimes different people have different thoughts. Sometimes it's more traditional for the guy to go ahead and approach those people. But sometimes it's not that easy for us. But you see those guys in the corner, the ones that look like they're really shy. Try talking to one of them. Try talking to them. And maybe you'll be surprised. Maybe they'll actually listen to what you, to what you say. They might even actually have a comment on what you have to say. Maybe that you could carry conversation for the whole night, covering multiple topics and them actually paying attention and know what you mean. How many people can do that? Probably a lot. The only problem is you run into the wrong ones. But again, this is based on my point of view. Maybe you do find the right people. Maybe you can walk up to people and they turn out to be good people. You know, it's happened before. I'm not saying it's rare, it's just from my point of view, it seems like everyone just keeps meeting in the wrong person. But yeah. 
you know, it's really difficult to talk about love. And it's very difficult, or I find it difficult for me to talk about personal things that happened in the past, which I probably won't do, because it sometimes makes me a bit uncomfortable. But love isn't easy to talk about, especially when you go through relationships and you things just happen. But I guess you can say that there's hope. Like I said before, I'm not as hopeless as I was before. Before I thought I was stuck in a circle and I couldn't get out. You know, nothing I did made a difference. I was just stuck to be alone. Yeah, a depressing uh, way to think, but that's how I was thinking for a while. But on a better note, actually have an interest in someone and I hope they actually have an interest in me as well because I talk with this person and I even message this person and I enjoy reading their messages and the thing is that I'm myself I don't ask for advice I don't try to be anything but myself and from what I can see it's working out fine it's progressing nicely whether or not it actually turns into something, I, to me, it can go either way. If it progresses nicely and it turns into an actual relationship, you know, I'm fine with that. I would really love it. But if it turns out that this person and I aren't meant for each other, then you know what? That's fine too. Because from what, from what I can see, this person respects me and they're not taking advantage at all so even though it doesn't work out this person is still my friend I have nothing to be sad for one thing you have to keep in mind is that every time you go through something like this regardless what the outcome is it's always a learning experience it is and even if you get your heart broken you learn from it and when you look back on this probably won't think it now, but you'll be happy you actually went through this. Because you never make the same mistake twice. Yeah, you'll probably make new ones, but that's okay. That's okay. So, this is going to be the end of my uh, Love Part 3 video. There's actually two others there on YouTube. If you guys want to search for them, go for it. But, um, I think I'll end this with a quote. Not one that I did, but someone who had it on their website or their profile. And let me know what you think about, about it, okay? It says that love can never be wrong. Just believe and everything will come true. Which makes sense. You have to believe in yourself, and you have to believe in them. And if you don't believe in yourself, then there's almost no point. So, just think about that. If you have any questions, if you need any advice, go ahead and message me. Make a comment, and I'll do my best to offer suggestions. And that's all basically we can really do. But yeah, basically that's it for now. I probably won't be making a, a love part four anytime soon, but we'll see what happens. But uh, take care, and I hope you guys really have a great week. And we'll see when I make the next vlog. Take care again. Bye.